Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on the basic local government scene. Basic local government scene is a level of detail one 3D scene that includes the world topographic map draped over detailed elevation along with buildings and trees. And we can create the buildings and trees from classified LIDAR. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the publish local government scene task and we're going to create a last data set. We're going to browse to our last files. You can select only one and then remove the file name to get the folder. And then we're going to set our projection. So in this case, um, with the sample data, if you search for 1201, this is the local projection for the LiDAR data that we're using in the demo. Press finish and we have a last data set. Now, as you can see, the symbolization, the points are a bit too big. So we can make them a bit smaller so we get a better visualization of the LiDAR data in our scene. Next, we're going to create elevation surfaces from the last data set. So we input our last data set, we set the cell size that we would like. This is based on the average point density. You can change it if you like. Typically, we use the average point density for a cell size of our rasters. And then we can also set, decide whether we want to do noise classification. You can set the minimum distance from the ground and the maximum distance from the ground. Then anything outside that uh, range uh, will be classified as noise. So this gives us three elevation services, a DTM, a DSM, and a normalized DSM. And what we can do now is we can modify the DTM with our building footprints uh, so that our 3D buildings eventually that we're going to create will sit better on the terrain. So in this case, we select our building footprints, we select our DTM, and we set our modification type. So it's the minimum value or the average value or the maximum value of the raster within the building footprint. So now we have a modified DTM. And you can see already the building footprints in the DTM. This is where we modified the elevation. And we're going to add this DTM to the ground surface in our pro scene. So we'll search for the DTM that we just created. Sometimes you need to refresh the geodatabase. It won't show up. So in this case, yes, we first need to refresh it and then run the tool again. So if you right click on the geodatabase. And there we have our modified DTM. It gets added to the scene. And now we can have a look in our scene to see if we have modified our DTM in the location of the footprints, and we have. So this will ensure that our buildings will sit properly on the train uh, after creation. So now we want to publish this elevation service as well, because we also want to produce a web scene. So in this case, we must ensure that our DTM has values in meters, Z values in meters, and is also in web Mercator projection. And then to be able to publish it, we do need to add this um, elevation service as well to the ground so we can publish it. And after publishing, you can remove it again. So we add it to the ground, and now we can just publish it to Enterprise, ArcGIS Enterprise, ArcGIS Online. So right click on the elevation that we wish to publish and share as web layer. And then we give it a name, we give it a summary and proper tags. And then under configuration, we can set 
the level of detail that we want our published elevation service to be at, and also the lurk compression. The lurk compression drives the accuracy of the resulting published elevation service. Um, we typically set it at 0 0.05 or less. So we publish this one and we move on to our buildings. So now we're going to go to the create LOD1 building task. And we're going to bring in our building footprints. These are required along with our LiDAR data. So we enter the building footprints, we enter the LiDAR derived DTM and the LiDAR derived DSM. In this case, I want to buffer the buildings. This means that we will have a slight buffer distance where we will not take into account any LiDAR points. This is especially uh, good when you have overhanging trees uh, over your buildings. And we set a name for the output 3D LOD1 buildings. And there we have our level of detail one 3D buildings. So let's publish them as well because we do, as I said before, we do want to create a web scene as well. And in this case, we must, if we want to publish to a global scene, which is what we want to do in this case, we must make sure that the scene coordinate system is in Web Mercata. So you set the pro scene to Web Mercator, and this allows us to publish the 3D buildings to a global scene uh, for viewing in a web browser. So we give it a good name, summary, and a good tag. So in this case, you know, you can also look on the configuration whether you want to cache online or locally. That's up to you. And then we go and publish. So while this is publishing, we move on to our trees. So you hit the Create Trees task. We enter our last data set. In this case, uh, vegetation has not been classified. So we'll use one for vegetation class code. We enter our building footprints. And we hit Publish. So our buildings have been published. So the last thing to do is to publish our trees as well. It's the same process. Just select the tree layer in the table of contents. Click on the Publish Schematic Trees task. And because we already set the uh, pro scene coordinate system in Web Mercator, we can skip the task, and then we can publish our trees. Similar to publishing buildings, you give it a name, summary, and tag. And that's it. So now we've published our elevation, our buildings, and our trees. And once the caching has been done, we can go and manage the layer on Enterprise or ArcGIS Online, depending on where we published it to. And we open up a web scene viewer. In this case, we open it up uh, with the elevation layer. 
we can see here that, yes, we have our modified DTM in our global scene, and we'll add our buildings and our trees to the web scene. You can set the time of day and see the shadows. If need be, you can also create so-called slides. These are bookmarks in the web scene. And once we're done, we'll save our web scene. And that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the basic local government scene.